So when you think of the Big Five, when you think of this, this course, we've talked about the relationship of parents to their kids, a bit yep. about the relationship with somebody you, you might date or, or, or a partner. Um, how can this help um, uh, leaders? How does oh, it help that's, in the, that's in the workplace? Great. Well, one of the things that it can help you understand is who you should select for hiring. You know, if you're hiring managers and administrators, you want people with high cognitive power, and that's, so that's associated with openness to experience, intellect, and IQ. You want people with high cognitive power, especially as the job complexity increases. Um, uh, low complexity jobs, which are ones that you can learn and then do by rote, they don't require so much general cognitive ability. But if you're hiring people to stay on top of a dynamically changing environment and they need to learn and make complex decisions, then you have to hire for general cognitive ability. And the difference economically between making the proper hiring decision and the improper hiring decision is overwhelming. It's going to make or break your enterprise. And And then if you want manager and managerial and administrative types, you also want to hire for conscientiousness. And so if you use a, an amalgam of general cognitive ability and... <laughs> Conscientiousness, you can hire with, you can improve your hiring accuracy. Well, you can. Imagine your failure rate is 50% in that 50% of the people that you hire are below average and 50% are above. It's just an arbitrary cutoff.
you use a decent selection process, then you can decrease your error in hiring by 50%. And so that will definitely make or break your business.